So this is a bit of a public service announcement. Uh, po uh, software projects are collaborative. They usually encompass many months or years uh, and are touched by several developers along the way. And uh, communication is key to any good software project. Strong, well-written well commit messages are one way uh, to increase communication and documentation with very little overhead. Uh, the project history plus a strong blame engine uh, give us the power to answer future questions about what we were thinking at the time something was added or changed. Uh, for some of you, I'm already preaching to the choir. For some of you, I hope I can add some insight that you can bring back to your teams. And uh, for the rest of you, well, I'm going to show some of your bad commit messages on display. Uh, before I start, I should mention this photo. Uh, these signs uh, show up in the Commonwealth countries like the UK, Australia, and India. Apparently, they're a way of politely asking people to avoid improper acts in public, specifically to not urinate on the wall. <laughs> First, some bad examples. I took these examples directly from client projects and from open, uh, some open source projects. This is a story about a fellow who spent several hours trying to get some, something to work, obviously had some trouble, but littered the project with some messy history. Uh, it starts with this commit, not very useful. Goes to that. Uh, ah, Capistrano. <laughs> what scripts? Why? How? That looks familiar. <laughs> what environment file, right? Why and for what? Uh-oh. You can learn how to use Git. All right, this is getting silly. Um, and now this, this is a great question, right? <laughs> but it's not a fracking commit message. And this is a letter of the alphabet. <laughs> uh, just to give you, this is the rundown, this is actually the history, it was back to back all those commits. The poor guy uh, worked through the night, got some sleep, came back to it and continued to mess up the history. Um, here's another story. Uh, this is obviously someone who uh, was frustrated at something, uh, but we have no idea why or about what. Now he's indignant. <laughs> now he's angry. Still angry. And it results in dismay. In fairness, this person was trying to fight through some pains at, uh, with uh, integrating with OAuth 1 uh, while using some third-party service, but unfortunately afterwards we're left with a lot of questions. <laughs> Here's another story about someone who uh, unintentionally made a lot of developers' future lives more difficult. Uh, literally, this was thousands of lines of code, no rhyme or reason. Lastly, this one's my favorite. I had taken on a rescue project, and as we know from Jeff's talk, uh, quite a noble effort. And I was trying to get a feel for the code base while trying to add features for an upcoming release. Now keep in mind, the existing developers weren't around anymore. Uh, there, weren't, there were very few tests, not to mention most of those tests were read. Uh, I, found, uh, I found some of the code monkey patched an array class, which was kind of a, I was, I was curious about it. So I went searching, and I found this. And this was painful to find, because it had nothing to do with the, uh, the array monkey patch. Now, you might, want to, you might ask, Ryan, why are you being so pedantic about this? Why do you care so much? Well, in this particular project, this and a lot of commits like it uh, cost the client many hours of head scratching, wondering whether it was safe to remove unnecessary code, which was a real waste. So let's look at some better examples. I'm, going to, uh, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to go through these pretty quick. I'm not claiming they're perfect, but they're, they're out there. Uh, here's a couple of short messages. We've got, we know what changed and without, looking, without looking too further into the diff. Um, here, uh, we know that we fixed a bug, and we know what the underlying problem was. Uh, here's some more detailed examples. Here we, got, we know what's changed. We also have some insight into the justification why. Uh, and then we have this one, which is great because it includes a bunch of different uh, things in it, but actually uh, goes in inside what was in the mind of the developer at the time. Uh, here's a quick template um, of what a good commit message might look like. Uh, we start with a summary. We finish with some details. The summary, uh, like, I like to start with a verb, uh, continue it with a frag sentence fragment, optionally include a, a ticket to your issue tracker. Uh, the details I like to uh, specify why something was happened. So here's some verbs for those who have some uh, writer's block when they're trying to write a commit message. I pulled these from a project and sorted them by uh, frequency. I'll just give you an idea of what to kind of look for. And lastly, the moral of the story is please don't urinate on your projects with lousy commit messages. I'm Ryan McGeary. This is my contact info. Along with Jim Garvin, we're the guys behind BusyConf. I also do freelance consulting under McGeary Consulting Group. Feel free to reach out anytime.